Luke, back-to-back -back wins in pre-season, good to breed that mentality, I suppose. Yeah, it's, um, it's about the performance at the moment, um, but hopefully the performance breeds the, you know, the correct result as well. So, you know, we have to make sure that we're doing everything at the moment to, to prepare for the league campaign, but there's nothing better than winning. Let's talk about the performance then. What were the good bits, what were the bad bits for you? Well, I mean, you know, the, the opposition are of absolute top quality. So as a defensive practice, we, we, we had to be uh, really, really organised and the players had to be completely committed to everything because if you give these guys any opportunity, they're going to take it. Um, and so a really, really positive uh, defensive display. And then, you know, we, we, we're very early in, in, in our understanding of, of how we're going to build up. But, you know, we still managed to put some uh, very good actions together still at times we we make in the wrong decision at crucial moments um, but we have we have time still to work on that so I think you know we take from this to, to, to be able to come away without getting heavily beaten by this type of opposition is important 60 minutes for a lot of the boys 30 minutes for others a few players not in the lineup so we'll just try and tidy that up Kedwin and Maka what was the problem with those two yeah but both both players had a, a bit of a sickness but both both guys were here today watching the team they're they're, they're healthy and they're ready to train again, um, but it, it was something that we, we, we had to exclude them from the, from the group in, in case there was a contamination and so on and so forth. But both guys look really healthy and well today. Frank Vincent as well, he was ill, wasn't he? Yeah, exactly. Uh, another another player that was uh, that was 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 ill. So uh, you know, we just have to make sure that we, we look after them. There's a there's a big load at the moment for you know in, in training, um, or some really high intense work as well. So. If you're if you're not actually uh, well, you know, it can cause serious problems. Joel Taylor, yeah, Joel, Joel is uh, looking after his family. Uh, it's, it's nothing for us to, to be concerned about, but he, he had to put that first, absolutely. And uh, and and um, he's going to report back to us that everything's okay later. I'm sure. Good stuff. Finally, Jackson Smith, uh, obviously played played for us on Tuesday at Baseford on trial from Wolves. What's the latest with him, the goalkeeper? Uh, yeah, I mean, we had, we had an agreement with Wolves that we can look at the boy for a certain amount of time. You know, he done he done outstanding. So we need to, you know, to look at whether or not it's the right uh, move for him and the right move for us. So we have maybe some other options, but certainly uh, he gave a really good account of himself. But as part of that agreement, we have to uh, send the boy back to his club. Just a quick word on the two goal scorers, Cairo Mitchell. Great to see him get on the score sheet. Well, I thought he thoroughly deserved the goal for 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 what he done out of possession with the ball. Uh, and then to lead the line uh, against a, you know, a very athletic and very, very competent back line, he done that well. Um, and then you know he had a he had a couple of good good opportunities and ultimately got his goal and he deserved that. Aidan Baldwin is just walking behind us uh, there. He got his goal in his first 30 minutes. Looked very assured. Excellent range of passing. Everything I guess you expected from him. Yeah, a bit rusty. Um, a few a few things that uh, I, I don't expect to see from Aidan in, in in the next couple of weeks, but. Um, he, he's not been able to uh, train fully um, just because we we had the, the precaution with him last week at uh, the beginning of the week sorry um, but today he showed some of his qualities but there's, there's certainly more to come from Aidan. There'll be decent numbers travelling to Orfreton on Tuesday to see the lads continue the pre-season what can the fans expect a similar setup to today 60 and 30 for some players? Yeah we need to we need to be responsible for the players to help them all to get to the right place at the right time <coughs> excuse me so we have to flip this around so, so you can expect to see two very, very similar teams, but just in a, in a different combination.